friends, it's Kimmy Aaron, and I am here to help you decide what to wear for a daytime spring wedding. Now this question came from Lulu, such a cute name, hello, uh, from KimmyAaron.com. Just go to KimmyAaron.com slash AskKimmy and you can ask me anything relating to fashion or beauty and I'm happy to help. And this time she wanted to know what kind of styles were in style, on trend, but classic enough to not look back in 10 years and be like, OMG, I kind of ruined that girl's wedding with my own dress. So here are some amazing dresses that withstand the test of time but still have some cool modern accents for all bodies, all ages. First, I'd love to start with this amazing Halston Heritage canary yellow one shoulder ruched top dress with amazing frilly skirt. Especially for a daytime wedding, showing off a little bit of knee is so much fun. I paired it with these really fun heels that are silver and yellow and they're so cute and I love that they're just a little fun and definitely lend to dancing all night. Now one thing you can do to dress down or create a stronger waist if you need a stronger waist, which is you know people who are square bodied or apple bodied and need to cinch it in. This already has a very natural um, waistline. But one thing I love doing is adding a fun belt. This belt is a fun vintage belt that I found for $10. Now, as you can see, it has its holes that are already there, but for most belts, you can't wear them on your waist because there's not enough holes. Rather than creating holes midway through the belt so it ruins it when you do wear it with your jeans, I use this tip all the time on set because you never know what size actress or model you're working with. So usually, you have your little prong right there and it sits like that. So what you're gonna do I need to get a new snakeskin belt. All the snakeskins totally falling off. So you're gonna slide it through and you're gonna move this guy just above it. Adjust it so that it's as tight as you'd like. And you'll see that it looks like it's in place. Nobody's gonna notice. So then what you're gonna do with all of this excess is Grab your double stick tape, cut the slightest little piece that's just about the size of your belt. And I like the super stick tape because it is super sticky. And then I'm just gonna move this to the front so you guys can see what I'm doing. Voila, take off the backing. You can see I've done this before. There's a little bit of residue. And just pop it in place and it stays all night long. Super fun, right? Let's move on to the next dress. Now you girls with curves, I have the perfect dress for you. This is from Stop Staring and it's one of my favorite lines, especially for girls with a little bit of curve. It's created to basically build confidence into your body. It's amazing what happens when you put these on. I particularly love this style because I think black is timeless. This whole retro film noir vibe is super timeless and it features a super sweet party bow and fun peplum to kind of hide all the things that you kind of might need to hide, like a belly or but If you wanna mix the metals of jewelry, I think that's a fun way of updating a look and being a little on trend, but not doing anything too glary. I love Kara Ackerman for her gorgeous bracelets. So simple, so little. She also has some great stackable rings, and all of these are super affordable. And real diamonds. Diamonds! So let's move on to the girls who need their arms covered. So I totally get why some people want to or feel like they need to cover their arms. I'd like to invite you to maybe not be as self-conscious about it. Actually showing your arms can show how small your shoulders are. But if you are the kind of person who definitely needs your arms covered, which I totally understand, may I recommend this gorgeous color block sheath dress from Shamaya Benite. He's one of my most favorite designers right now. And he is based out of London and he used to style or um, design for Stella McCartney. This beautiful silk sheath is so stunning and the colors are very on trend. Now, I love just pairing it with a super simple ring, like this one from Forever 21 with a little pink stone, love it. 
And I also paired it with some Pierre Hardy super simple metallic and suede sandals. Kind of dresses it up, but keeps it casual for daytime. So what do you do if you want to cover your legs? Hold tight. I love Nicole Miller's pretty petal pink high-low hemline dress. Now, I love it not only because of the super flattering cut on top, which is great for a girl with a little bit of boob, has a little bit of um, boning just inside so it holds you in. I got this from Rent the Runway, such a great website. Um, I love to pair this and bling it out, but still make it kind of casual for daytime with Bandeau's super pretty headband. You can wear this over your head if you like, or you can pop it underneath your hair to go as like a cute crown on top. If you want to tease your hair a little bit, get some volume in there, that'll definitely help. Get this amazing lotion called Pretty Potion. It is a lifesaver. It's almost like washing your body with like nylons. It just perfects, it deflects light, and it makes your skin look flawless. It comes in a couple different shades for all different women and your colors, and I definitely recommend popping it on before any night out or any time you're gonna go out and get photographed and look pretty. It's a confidence builder, trust. So what about those weddings that go from day to night? Hold tight. Right here we have the most perfect silhouette for every daytime wedding. It's a thick, wide shoulder. It shows just enough of your clavicle on top and it pinches you in right at the waist. Now I have a thing about sequins for daytime weddings. Do not do all over sequin or too bright of sequin for daytime wedding. Either opt for a matte sequin if you are like a sequin freak, which I totally understand, or go for something really simple like this that just adds a little bit of shimmer and sparkle to your look without being over the top. This one is from Miss Wu. I also love that it's just right above the knee, maybe an inch or two, and that's a really fantastically flattering length for so many women. Now I have one more amazing day to night wedding dress. Again, you have a wide shoulder strap. This one is from Erin, Erin Featherston, and I did opt for a matte sequin. So again, festive, but not too much, not too garish. I love that it has a blouse top. So if you're the kind of person who needs extra coverage on top, it's super flattering. On the bottom, it's a really comfy stretch. So just make sure you pop on your Spanx or whatever your shapewear is to make sure that you don't have any lines and you'll have so much fun. Silver shoe, little silver studs, and you'll be ready to party. Thank you so much for your questions. If you have another fashion question, leave it in the comments below and I will totally address it next time. Or if it's not video, I will definitely make sure I get to you. So leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe like everything, thumbs it up, and I will be back for more next week. Smooches. <laughs>